uh, uh, feuding members within a party have agreed, then the tribunal may record a consent to accommodate the agreement of the parties. It's, it's perfectly in order. The political party's dispute tribunal expects to hear various petitions before it until Tuesday next week. IEBC expects to gazette the names of political nominees on Wednesday next week. Patrick Amimo, KTA News, Nairobi. So, with a few days to the deadline issued by the High Court for Parliament to enact the two-thirds gender rule, Strathmore Law School held a mock court proceeding on gender balance to create public awareness on that issue. Organizers say the event will act as a springboard to re-energize the campaign to bring about gender parity in the country. Mark Namaso attended the event and tells us the story. Watch. The just concluded party nominations have exhibited a never say die attitude in women as they weave their way through party politics. As part of this effort, Strathmore Law School on Thursday held mock court proceedings to discuss the status of the Kenyan woman, gender parity, and the narrow space they occupy in Kenyan leadership. Because we are faced with the two thirds gender principle. And we need to integrate into um, our, legal, yeah, the, our young legal minds to be able to converse issues of law at, uh, at this particular stage so that when they, count, when they go out, they are able to articulate it in practice. The sessions incorporated select law students from 10 universities across the country, each gunning to emerge the best in articulating gender balance. It has been seven years down the line since this constitution was passed. However, Parliament has failed to take active measures such as passing laws to give effect to it. The event was held with less than one week left before the deadline given by the court ends. Currently, Kenya has just 68 women parliamentarians, 18 in the Senate, including nominated senators. Away from Parliament, 82 women sit in various county assemblies countrywide. Despite the increase in the number of elected women, these numbers still fall short of the required 33% minimum. Leo, watajadili waone kwamba, je, kuna njia zingine ambazo zinaweza zikatumika kuhakikisha kwamba kuna sheria itakayopitishwa kuhusisha wamama katika uongozi. A 2016 UNDP report on development in Africa states that the continent loses close to $100 billion annually due to gender-related discrimination. And this cumulatively frustrates the continent's development agenda. If you look at most uh, homesteads in Kenya, and there's statistics for this, a lot of homesteads are supported uh, by women. Uh, yet, uh, we denigrate them and ensure that they are not given uh, prime positions or positions where they are able to make uh, reasonable uh, wages or earnings, uh, 